Hello. In this video, we are going to show you how to set up the investment guide. We're going to cover all of the settings and preferences related to the investment guide. This is your flat rate pricing book, but it could also be your so-called cookbook pricing for equipment changeouts. Either way, there's a lot of settings that control how it behaves and looks, so let's get right into it. Click the hamburger menu from the main screen here and go to more. Click settings and you should see investment guide. If you don't, then you probably don't have permission to see it. So talk to your administrator or someone that can give you permissions. Click on investment guide. Notice at the very top, there is a drop down that's easy to miss. We have general and cart types. We're going to start with general and explain each one of these. Show item numbers. That option allows you to show the item numbers during the customer presentation. Now that doesn't pertain to you. When you're looking things up, you'll see the item numbers. That's whether or not you want your client to see the item numbers. Only include flat rate tasks in all item buttons. You probably don't want that checked because it would only allow technicians to select flat rate tasks. They would not be able to select service agreements, discounts, subtotals, etc. Hide item images in the investment guide. You probably don't want to hide the images. You might hide them if you were having some kind of technical problem with those images. That's there just in case you need it. Automatically add additional task discount. If your company offers a discount for additional repairs, such as a primary repair and a secondary repair, then you might want to have the software, the app, automatically add the discount to the second task. If you have any problems with it being added automatically, you might turn that off. But it's typically convenient to ask the software to do that for you. As you probably have seen elsewhere, there's a lot of copy to all user options in this app. This would allow you, upon saving, to copy all of these settings to every user. It's everyone or just this user. If most everybody needs to have the same settings, it's probably better to copy these settings to everybody and then go in and take care of the exception. Auto discount apply, applies to item type. So what item type does the automatic discount apply to? If you want the software to automatically add a discount for additional tasks, then what item types are you calling a task? Your choices are a group item or a service item. If that doesn't make sense to you, that is something that's in the desktop software, and that would be a different video. In the desktop software, there are different invoice item types, two of which are service and group. You're deciding which one the auto discount applies to. Basically, what you're doing is you're telling the software, which item type do I use as a flat rate task? Default discount for additional tasks. This is your discount item. Again, in the desktop software, one of your invoice item types is a discount. We don't know what discount item you want to use, so you are picking from a list of discount items. Only discount items will be shown. In other words, only invoice items where the type is equal to discount will be shown. We generally recommend you create something called discount add task for additional task. Service button should include, well, you know what? I got ahead of myself. Let's talk about the checkbox above it. Include a services selection on invoices and work orders. Your invoices and work orders will always have a button to add items. 
but you could have a second button called services. This is added to make it a little easier to think about the process of quoting a service, which is could be considered a flat rate task, and then later on adding the items that were used for those services. So in other words, you would click the services button, find a flat rate task for a gas valve or an inducer, do the work, and then click the items button to add the items that you actually used for inventory purposes. This adds a second button called services. Generally, it's a good idea to do that. That services button can show certain item types. You can have group items, service items, subtotals. You can add different items to that. So when you click the services button, in this case, it will show you group, service, and subtotals. If you don't want one of those, you can click the X to get rid of one of those types. Again, the services button is used to quote the flat rate repair. And then the item button or the parts add, actually it says add items. The button is called add items. That's used for inventory purposes. Include an investment guide. What is that? Click this. Group items, service items, or both. When you open up the flat rate book, the investment guide, you can decide if you want to be able to select from group items or service items or both. This is a group item type, an invoice item equal to group, and this is an invoice item type equal to service. If that doesn't make sense, that is a desktop software issue and you want to look into that. Finally, exclude group sub-items from the view cart. In the desktop software, as we've said, you have invoice items, invoice item types equal to group. That allows you to group up multiple items, which is common when you build flat rate tasks. You typically don't want to show the individual items within that group, but you might. So that's an option. Once you have set these, click the Update Settings button right here to save your settings. Now you can optionally move to the cart types, just like a shopping cart for an online system. You have a shopping cart in the app. And you can have different shopping carts to select from. If you wish to edit the cart types, you must log in as the administrator. I'm going to show you how quickly. I'm logging out. And logging back in as the administrator. We will go to more. Settings, Investment Guide, switch over to Cart Types, and here we are. Add a cart type up here. I'm going to click that so I can explain the fields. Give it a short name like Value, Prestige, Good, Better, Best, The Ultimate. Describe it like Very Good Comfort System Yet Still Affordable. Give it a marketing-friendly description. Your calculation type is either a percentage or a, or a dollar amount. Here we're talking about the down payment. If it's a percentage, then you'll enter the percent or the dollar amount, the interest rate on the loan, and the term in months. You don't have to use any of these, but it's very helpful to tie the best financing packages in with the best equipment. Once you are finished, hit the Save icon here or Cancel. You can also edit any of these by clicking the Edit button. Once you've made changes, click the Save button. That's all there is to 
editing and updating and managing the cart types. Let's log back out. The investment guide here. Now, in another video, we will talk in detail about how to use the investment guide, how to select from the various shopping carts, how to check out, etc. This video was specific to the settings that control the behavior and the look of the investment guide. I hope you found it useful. We'll see you next time.